What is up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video and boy do I have a fun illustration tutorial for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to convert this image of a Nike Air Jordan Classic sinker into a flat, vibrant vector illustration. If you're new around here and you're interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then click that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. Begin by setting up the reference image into a template layer. If you're a gold member of the channel, you will get a link to access the practice file and the full vectorized file. We will create two layers and name them outline and color. For the outline, we will use a thick black stroke with rounded caps and corners. Begin by tracing the outside portion of the sneaker with the pen tool. If you're new to the pen tool, you can check out the eye at the top right of the screen for a quick beginner's guide to the pen tool in Adobe Illustrator. Let's also round off any hard edges with the direct selection tool. Next, we will focus on the details of the shoe and the laces. Let me show you a neat trick when creating the laces. Firstly, I am going to create a curved stroke with rounded caps and corners. I will then increase the thickness of the stroke to match the thickness of the laces. We will then head over to the top menu and outline the strokes to create its own shape. Using the eyedropper tool, which you can activate by pressing I on your keyboard, we will match it to the stroke we used for the outside of the shoe. Now what we will do next is duplicate the shape and resize it to create the other laces. As you can see here, we have overlapping lines and we must clean these up. As you've seen in my latest Shape Builder tutorial, which you can check out, you can clean up the lines using this tool. Let's select all, activate the Shape Builder, and with Option or Alt pressed on your keyboard, carefully click on the lines to delete them. Now let's continue outlining the details of the shoe. What I like to do is have the outside of the illustration have a thicker stroke and the details to be slightly thinner. Once we have the lines completed, once again, clean them up using the Shape Builder tool.
Continue the outline by creating the bottom of the shoe. No need to be super detailed here, as long as you capture the essence of the image, it will look great. Let's move on to creating some of the stitching. I will select this line, head over to the top menu and select offset path. Double click to isolate the new shape and with the direct selection tool, click on the anchors and delete them until you're left with a stroke like this. And then head over to the stroke panel, make the lines thinner, and click on the dash line option to have the stitching effect. Following these steps, I will speed up this portion of the video. To finalize the outline, I will drag a picture of the Air Jordan logo onto the canvas. I'm not going to be retracing this manually. What we will do is use the built-in Illustrator function called Live Image Tracing. Select the image and head over to the top and click on Image Trace. This will give you a vector preview of what the logo will look like. Once you're happy, confirm by clicking on Expand. Ungroup everything and apply the logo to the shoe. All right, so we're done the outline process. Now let's add the base colors. For starters, we will copy everything from the outline layer to the color layer. Head over to the Layers panel, hold Option or Alt on your keyboard, and copy it down like this. Next up, delete all unnecessary details like the stitchings, the logo, and even the extra lines. We will head over to the top menu and Outline Strokes. With the help of the Pathfinder panel, we will then merge all these new shapes. Right click and release Compound Path, and then delete the outermost shape. Select all and give all the shapes a neutral color, and then turn on the outline layer. Very easily, Using the DOM Design's color palette, I will select each shape and assign a color to it to apply the base colors. Let's now start applying the highlights and the shadows. For starters, create a new layer and name it Shadow. With a black oval, we will create the shadow that goes underneath the shoe. Now let me show you my way of creating highlights and shadows very easily. The light source will be coming in from the top left, which means the highlights will be at the top and the shadows more towards the bottom right. 
With the shapes we already have in place, we can create these shadows and highlights. For example, let's select this shape and do a copy and paste in front twice, thus creating three shapes. Select the top shape and position it downwards. Select the top two shapes, activate the shape builder, with the Option or Alt key selected, delete the unnecessary shapes and leave behind this top part. Select it, give it a lighter color to create a highlight. In this scenario, I will apply a white color. Basically, follow these steps to create the remaining shadows and highlights. And there you have it everyone, this is how to vectorize a photo of an Air Jordan Nike shoe into a beautiful and vibrant flat vector illustration. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Cheers everyone!